When I was in college, I took this class. It was about manufacturing methods, basically CNC machines and 3D printing. It was amazing. I've been trying to think of a way to get my hands on a CNC of my own since then. The problem is that affordable ones are so cheap. I'm sure they work for what they are made for, but here, we're not good enough with good enough. Let's try to be clever and get the most out of our money. I would like to go through some higher level design considerations for building a CNC router. Let's go through the objectives first. I want to be able to cut wood, aluminum, do some engraving, that kind of stuff. So I want it to be cheap. Let's start by going through some types and components. There are three main types of CNC mills. There are the C-frame or the fixed column, basically like a Tormach or a Haas. We won't look into those too much because they're, they're too tricky to build, too big. And then there's a movable gantry and a fixed gantry. So a movable gantry has a larger work area and is less rigid. There's a fixed gantry, more rigid, smaller work area. The footprint of a movable gantry is also smaller than a fixed gantry. For my potential purposes, I'll be designing a movable gantry machine in attempt, in theory, in theory, to maximize its rigidity. In light of the objectives, I think I can get a movable gantry to cut aluminum. For the components I will, de I will be designing with the cheapest linear rails and ball screw kits I can find. Because I have such a stringent budget for this project. Uh, and then lastly, the spindle will be from eBay. It's one of those cheap little things. But this is important to choose the right one. Getting one of those small ones with a small output with a coupler that goes into like an ER11 collet. I think that'll work. All of our cutting forces and vibrations go through this output shaft. And so it needs to be big. Anyways, these are some of the things that I'm considering in this uh, DIY CNC design. The components are pretty much as cheap as I can find on eBay. Next time I'll talk more about material selection and some really interesting facts about materials.